He should have thought about this. He should have thought about what he was doing before he got in the car. He should have did this to me. Those are the words of a devastated mother whose son is in the hospital after being hit by a suspected drunk driver. The teen was inside and asleep at the time. Good evening and thanks so much for watching. I'm Whitney Miller. That teen is 15 year old Jamal Jackson Jr. A car plowed into his grandmother's home in New Orleans East this morning and hit him while he was in bed. Now he's lying in the hospital at University Medical Center. That's where Lily Cummings spoke with his family this evening. I can't wrap my head around it. Sierra Patterson was in disbelief when her mother called her around 4 a.m. Sunday, saying her 15-year-old son, Jamal Jackson Jr., was underneath a car. All I heard was a and boom, I jumped up and I just went to the front, I just went to screaming. New Orleans police responded to the intersection of Cerise Avenue and Chef Mentor Highway. That's where officers found the SUV that crashed through a fence and into the bedroom where Jamal was sleeping. Authorities say Marshall will be booked with first degree vehicular negligent injury and reckless operation after he's released from the hospital. Meanwhile, at University Medical Center, Jamal's family says he's unresponsive but fighting. He don't have any blood trauma in his head, thank God for that. They have him he he heavy sedated for the pain. When I went up there, went in there like 11, 12, he had caught a seizure. Yeah. And like an hour later, he caught another one. Yeah. The sophomore had just started school at Edna Carr. His family says he's involved in band and football. He even was eighth grade prom king. He haven't got to graduate from high school or none of that yet. But he will, because I got faith in God. The family says that faith is what will get them through. It's keeping us gone. Now they're asking for prayers and sharing a message. Nowhere in the world my child should be in critical condition at 15 years old by somebody not doing the right thing. He should have called an Uber if he knew he was too intoxicated. He should have never got behind no wheel. Lily Cummings, WWL, Louisiana. A spokesperson for Inspire NOLA Charter Schools told us the following, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with his family and loved ones. School administrators are in communication with his family and have offered support during this challenging time. We wish him well.